That is what Barack and I think about every day as we try to guide and protect our girls through the challenges of this unusual life in the spotlight. How we urge them to ignore those who question their father's citizenship or faith. How we insist that the hateful language they hear from public figures on TV does not represent the true spirit of this country. <laughs> How we explain that when someone is cruel or acts like a bully, you don't stoop to their level. No, our motto is, when they go low, we go high. With every word we utter, with every action we take, we know our kids are watching us. We as parents are their most important role models. Barack and I take that same approach to our jobs as President and First Lady because we know that our words and actions matter not just to our girls, but to children across this country. Not Democrat or Republican, not left or right, no, in this election and every election is about who will have the power to shape our children for the next four or eight years of their lives. I want someone with the proven strength to persevere. Someone who knows this job and takes it seriously. Someone who understands that the issues a president faces are not black and white and cannot be boiled down to 140 characters. Look, because... Because when... When you have the nuclear codes at your fingertips and the military in your command, you can't make snap decisions. You, you can't have a thin skin or a tendency to lash out. You need to be steady and measured and well-informed. That is the story of this country. The story that has brought me to this stage tonight. The story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. And, and, and I watch my daughters, two beautiful, intelligent black young women, playing with their dogs on the White House lawn. So, don't let anyone ever tell you that this country isn't great. That somehow we need to make it great again. Because this right now is the greatest country on earth.